Now, except for the actual colors, which is gold and brass at the feet, and <laughs> ever. This is what John in Revelations 1.13 right, is describing Jesus to look as as he's returning back from heaven. <laughs> you don't think you need to know this. <laughs> he has white hair and head. Right? His feet are his brass, so are his hands. Right? And he has a golden girdle. I know. Girt about the paps, chest, Whatever, right? <laughs> Reason. <laughs> he has it so, right? <laughs> but this is what John's describing in Revelations 1 13, right? <laughs> Believe it or not, <laughs> deal with it or not, right? <laughs> now it's not perfect, right? <laughs> right? But it's in general, right? I know. <laughs> Right, right. So this is your chest. The girdle is golden, right? <laughs> okay. But you're not showing this, right? They think he's going to have on a white and red robe or something or blue. <laughs> are, are you even caring? <laughs> no, no. But his whole head and face are white. <laughs> you know, your head mm -hmm. is this. <laughs> your hair mm -hmm. is that. And it's white as what? Wool. <laughs> you can even call it Shane or Ivory. <laughs> right. So that's white <laughs> as wool. Well, now, now mm -hmm. <laughs> John didn't say <laughs> if the wool was on the sheep <laughs> right. or off, right? Either, right? <laughs> but usually, mm -hmm. even though they're off white, my sheets, right? <laughs> right, right. <laughs> and that's made out of cotton, right? Not wool. <laughs> Wool, I know. I might have a wool shirt. <laughs> I don't know. Right. <laughs> but are you listening? Right. <laughs> You're not. I'm not hearing <laughs> or seeing. Uh huh. <laughs> you show the church this either, right? <laughs> right. Um. <laughs> Almost like you think you don't need to or something. <laughs> right. <laughs> like they can read it and understand what it means themselves. Sorry. Right. Well, most people, <laughs> and like I said, <laughs> this might be kind of the color of wool. <laughs> well, I don't think it's wool, but we'll see. <laughs> All right. It's cotton, but <laughs> right. <laughs> and all I'm trying to explain something to you, right, is when you say somebody's head, right, do you mean the whole head? <laughs> right. Face, right. <laughs> Neck, right. Is white as wool, right. <laughs> And hair and hair. <laughs> right. Kinda is it this white? <laughs> this is probably cotton too. I mean, yeah. <laughs> we use more cotton than wool. <laughs> right. <laughs> but is it wool <laughs> on the sheep? <laughs> or is it wool? <laughs> All right. Okay. Mm -hmm. Cotton still. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. It's like a wool sweater, right? Because I'm going to. I don't have internet right now. <laughs> I know. <laughs> right. 
But we know white, <laughs> even with a sheet, <laughs> it still what? White. White. <laughs> Damn. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I was just seeing it. I thought I had a shirt that wasn't made of, uh, wasn't made of wool. <laughs> All right. But nope. I don't know. It's all cotton. Mm -hmm. all right. But the head in here, right? Is your head, <laughs> your faith, <laughs> right. or just your hair, right? <laughs> and uh, both are white. The head and hair, right? Is this my faith, right? My whole head, <laughs> head and hair are white. <laughs> Right. When he returns, I know. <laughs> Plus, it's been 2,000 years, I guess. Right. <laughs> he ain't no spring chicken. <laughs> this season. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> it's John's description, though. <laughs> you seem to have a problem with it. <laughs> That's all I'm saying, right? But this is actually what he's describing, ain't it? <laughs> a man like unto <laughs> standing <laughs> between seven candlesticks right? girt about the paps <laughs> with the golden girdle. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now if you can't handle the truth are you even ready to be Jesus and him to rapture you out? <laughs> no. no. <laughs> Why do you think you're dying anyway? Oh, no. <laughs> the church is more dying <laughs> than being resurrected anyway. I know it is. <laughs> you're dying with the unbeliever, honey. <laughs> you're not living with Jesus. I know. <laughs> Jesus brought the dead back to life. <laughs> Me, maybe twice. <laughs> All right, because he wants me to show you something and until I'm done and you know, even if you don't believe me right he determines that not yet not you you too are a mere mortal man but Jesus is like unto the son of man right you don't even hear that <laughs> right. every passage that interprets this says that right that's one like him too the son of man <laughs> with a girdle girt about his chest breath paps right whatever you want to call him <laughs> sure. and this is exactly what john is telling you to look for except the hands are his breath the feet are his breath right and what i gotta show you a trumpet <laughs> Right? Read it. <laughs> it's telling you something about Jesus when he returns, right? Uh, what he's gonna look like? <laughs> right. I mean, if you're looking for somebody, <laughs> right, and you think he's a man, I know, <laughs> but he's like unto the son of man, right? Right. <laughs> And see, this is the what? <laughs> Hebrew people, free. <laughs> Caught a shot. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> In Hebrew. Mm -hmm. In English, right? Mm -hmm. Now, it's going to be double reverse. <laughs> Two. Mm hmm. Right. <laughs> but I haven't seen a picture of Jesus as he's described in Revelation. No. Nope. I know. Right. Right. I know. But this is what it would be, right? Now. Mm -hmm. So. Mm -hmm. And in the midst of the seven candlesticks, one like 
unto the Son of Man, clothed with a garment down to the foot, right, and girt about the paths with the golden girdle. Mm -hmm. His head and his hairs were white like wool, as white as snow. Snow is this white. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but his hair and head. Is that the whole thing? Yes. Yes. <laughs> okay. And his eyes <laughs> were as a flame of fire, and his feet like unto fine brass, as if they were burned in a furnace. Right. Right. And his voice as the sound of many waters <laughs> and he had in his hand seven stars and out of his mouth went a sharp two-edged sword which the word of God is what sharper than any two-edged sword right <laughs> and his countenance <laughs> was as the sun Shining in his strength. Right. Now this is what John also saw. I know. Without the girdle. At the transfiguration. Right. <laughs> wow. <laughs> and he had in his right hand. Again seven stars. And out of his mouth went a sharp two-edged sword, and his countenance was as the sun shineth in his strength. And when I saw him, I fell at his feet as dead, and he laid his right hand upon me, saying unto me, Fear not, I am the first and the last. Right. There's only two made. <laughs> All right, one first, one last, All right. I am he that liveth <laughs> and was dead. Mm -hmm. And behold, I am alive forevermore. Amen. <laughs> and have the keys of hell and the death, death. All right. I know. Write the things which thou hast seen and the things which were... The things which shall be hereafter. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, but this is also in the past. This is from 2,000 years ago in 2095. If that's when it was right by John, by the way. <laughs> I heard that <laughs> somewhere. Mm -hmm. The mystery of the seven stars which thou sawest in my right hand and the seven golden candlesticks. <laughs> mm -hmm. The seven stars are the angels mm -hmm. I know. of the seven churches. Mm -hmm. And the seven candlesticks which thou sawest are the seven churches. Right. Unto the angel of the church of Ephesus write, These things saith he that liveth, or standeth, sorry, holdeth, sorry, <laughs> Holdeth the seven stars in his right hand, who walketh in the midst of the seven golden candlesticks. Now, mm -hmm. he's describing a menorah. <laughs> it has 
seven candlestick holders. <laughs> Christ is in the middle or the fourth candlestick. <laughs> And there are seven stars mm -hmm. in his what ant right 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 hmm -hmm. now what did I tell you stars are angels angels right boo boo the sun the moon and the stars were formed on day four <laughs> that is 2,000 right, years before man was made. <laughs> if you find odd things on the earth, right, <laughs> they had something to do with it. Right. <laughs> now, until Satan sinned, though, and Eden with Adam and Eve, right, and tempted them to eat of the forbidden fruit, <laughs> right. you're still playing dumb to what that is, right? And why that is, right? And when that was, right? Because Adam lived 930 years after, right? Now, like I said, why did it take you after that 105 years <laughs> for Seth to have a son? <laughs> now, did you have a boy? Mm hmm. <laughs> of course, right? And a girl? Mm hmm. You can't have children without both. Without both, right? <laughs> Why did it take mm -hmm. 105 years for Seth <laughs> to have a son? Right. <laughs> and who did he marry? Right. <laughs> did Adam and Eve have a girl child? I don't know. At least right. <laughs> 20. I know. <laughs> or growed up <laughs> right. and looked like Eve right. <laughs> Damn. when she was born and, uh, and grew up <laughs> as a girl child right? <laughs> right when she looked like her mother right. as an adult <laughs> Seth was probably with her then however long it took <laughs> And they had sex <laughs> and had his first son. Right. <laughs> 105 years right. after Adam had him. Right. <laughs> or do you not believe this crap anymore? Right. <laughs> Again. Right. <laughs> Which is between you and God if you don't. Right. Exactly. John's trying to tell you something more here mm -hmm. than you want to see with the naked eye. Mm -hmm. And stubborn is, mm -hmm. as stubborn does, right? Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. it took Seth. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and, uh, lived a hundred and five years and begot Enos, right? Now, mm -hmm. but how old was Enos, right? And Seth lived after he begot Enos, right? Eight hundred and seven years, right? Which is a total of nine hundred and twelve, right? Right. Right. And he died, right? But it seems like natural causes, unlike Abel, <laughs> killed him, right? So why did Abel... <laughs> Kill Cain, right? I mean, Cain kill Abel. Mm -hmm. Anyway, mm -hmm. perhaps <laughs> in the tree fruit, <laughs> there was a feminine side to her mm -hmm. and a masculine side to him. <laughs> right. 
Most folks. <laughs> And Enos lived 90 years, right? And begot Canaan, which is spelled kind of like King, but with an N, right? Right. right. Mm -hmm. And after that, he begot Canaan 815 years, right? And begot sons and daughters, right? So, <laughs> 90 years, right? <laughs> and we got Canaan, right? Hmm. Think about it that way. Right? <laughs> you gotta wait on a female to be born, right? To whose wife, right? To Seth. Seth's wife, right? You can have a son, right? But until you have a daughter, right, you cannot have another son, right? right. <laughs> You're missing out <laughs> on the names of the women, right? And what, is this a sexist or denying the women? Or they didn't know their names, right? <laughs> Could be another reason, <laughs> right? Uh, they didn't focus on the women. <laughs> and that's who saw, right. whoever told Moses this crap. <laughs> Do you think Moses simply went to Egypt, right, as a babe, right, raised in Pharaoh's court, <laughs> was with Jethro for 40 years, right, two, two, till he was 80, right, <laughs> And learn nothing in all that time. <laughs> Damn. But you act like it, don't you? Right. <laughs> he would be exposed to anything we would be exposed to in Egypt today. <laughs> By the way. I know, right? Including their pantheon of gods. He would hear all their stories. Right. I think the Jews forget that. Right. <laughs> no, right. And focus more on the Torah he wrote. No, no. Than actual history he wrote, right? <laughs> and when you're writing a religious book, right, you put in it <laughs> suggestions by other people. <laughs> yes, you do. Right. <laughs> I know that. You and they, though, <laughs> were not actually there. <laughs> right. When Adam sinned, I know. With Satan and Eden, though you're obviously not realizing a replenishing also means if something is destroyed, like with the flood or fire, <laughs> that you have to remake it. <laughs> Durr. Durr. Now a flood, right? Okay, the water can just evaporate. Mm -hmm. But fire, <laughs> With nuclear warheads, could destroy the O element of the H2O. Right. And that's why I'm warning you idiots in China and Russia, America too, right, who have nuclear weapons, right, and anyone can have an opinion, even a mentally ill person trying to show you something about Jesus, you don't want to see, right? And how, again, right, whoever gave these people names, right, didn't even focus on the women, right, or their age, or anything like that, for at least until Noah, mm -hmm. though we don't even know his wife's name, until Abraham and Sarai, mm -hmm. Or sorry, right? How do you say it? <laughs> sorry, sorry. <laughs> Not sorry, Tom. <laughs> sorry, <laughs> sorry. I was like saying sorry, <laughs> but it's up. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> right. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> I live home alone, <laughs> trying to find a girlfriend. What? <laughs> what? How old? <laughs> Old enough. <laughs> right. 
Well, I keep teaching you. But I'm disabled. I fail. I'm trying to deal with it. I try to get better and other, do other things, right? You see how I flew through the course, right? I don't know. <laughs> I was trying to work full time anyway, or part time, part time. I specified what I could do. <laughs> even then, even then. I could work four hours at a pharmacy, right? Or can't I? <laughs> can't I? <laughs> Not every day, no. <laughs> right, right. <sighs> mm -hmm. But now I'm permanently disabled, VA? Mm -hmm. I guess, right. Exactly. <clears throat> so, mm -hmm. like I told you before, mm -hmm. I, uh, Dr. N. Reinrep. <laughs> Psy D. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Clinical psychologist, right? Said this in my notes, right? In 1990. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Psychologically fit for naval duty <laughs> pending. I know. Neurological mm -hmm. RX, right? Right? Right. So, the mental was good. Was good in 90. Right. So, what happened between 90 and 93? Right. <laughs> To make me hear voices when I met even my now ex wife, or her marry me anyway. <laughs> Though I told her to. <laughs> and again, <laughs> so. we divorced six months later because she left me stranded in Tennessee alone. alone. <laughs> right. I don't know <laughs> right. what you would think. Right. Was in your ex-wife's mind at the time, right? I don't know. When she did that to you, right? But it wasn't a rational mm -hmm, response to what was going on, right? Without even talking it out further, she just took off, right? When I went into the store, because mm -hmm, she insisted we needed gas, right? After we made it through the mountains, right, and blamed it on that, <laughs> right, for why she left me, right, there. Mm -hmm. That don't even sound right <laughs> at all, anyway, right. And like I needed to get my head together <laughs> when I got back home, anyway, and figure out what the hell just happened here, right. Why did she think it so insignificant of me, right, and my life, I know, that she didn't even apologize for it, really, when she got back? <laughs> I took the couch, like I said, right, out of fear I didn't know it was wrong, <laughs> right, mm -hmm. and she let me, too, right, didn't invite me back into the bedroom, and <laughs> slept with her daughter, <laughs> Till I move back to base, right? And that's my fault. How? No. <laughs> right. I'm trying to figure out what's going on here. I better play it safe. I better not do nothing you don't want me to do. <laughs> and I didn't, right? right? What would you think, though, <laughs> if the woman you married or the man you married right, left you stranded <laughs> at a gas station in Bucksnort, Tennessee? <laughs> right. Something's off with her? Yeah. <laughs> She's put me in danger? I don't even have no damn money. <laughs> what am I going to do? I got to figure out what to do, right? Because <laughs> once she leaves, you don't know where she went. I don't know where she went. <laughs> she could have went towards Nashville or towards Arkansas, right? <laughs> but of course, if I go up on the interstate or something, trying to find her, right? <laughs> Again, <laughs> 
I am stuck. <laughs> Left at a gas station. All right. With no other means of transportation but her little BMW. <laughs> yeah. It was, which is also off yellow. Off yellow. If I remember correctly about that part, right? <laughs> Certain things I can't forget. Certain things you want me to remember I can't remember either, but okay, you say so. <laughs> but I can piece it together and then with my dealings with my sisters. Uh, our sister, <laughs> me, 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 me. The one I thought when I was over at my dad's house. There was a diaper in the damn toilet. <laughs> but it was really toilet paper. <laughs> you wouldn't make that mistake if you're a kid. Yeah. Makes sense, don't it? Right. You know the girls change, right? <laughs> you know you, people change diapers, right? <laughs> Growing up, right? But like I told you... Right. Asking you a question as a child does not mean, as an adult, I would really do it, right? <laughs> right? Right? I didn't ever ask John to legally marry me. I know he can't, right? But I didn't know that when I asked. Right? <laughs> but I did as I grew up. <laughs> Bobby Lee. But did I ask you, Shondalee? <laughs> Never. No, I don't recall that. Right. <laughs> Even if Myra left us alone. Even if Myra left us alone. <laughs> you didn't do nothing. I didn't do nothing. Right. <laughs> and, you know, and you know I didn't. Right. All you can do is ask her, by the way. <laughs> right. <laughs> mm -hmm. Now... This person goes into chapter two. Mm -hmm. Now, Jesus again, right? These things saith the Son of God, who hath his eyes like unto a flame of fire, and his feet are like fine brass, right? Now, if your feet are like fine brass, what color will his hands be to? Brass, brass, right? Now, he's describing right. brass being burned, right? Right? right. That would not look like my trumpet, though it's supposed to be made of brass, right? <laughs> right. 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 <laughs> but this is brass mm -hmm. as if they were burned in a furnace, right? And his voice mm -hmm. as the sound of many waters. Right? Now, does brass, mm -hmm. I'm asking a question, look different <laughs> when in the furnace? Right. Now, what also mm -hmm. today mm -hmm. is a furnace, right? Like a metal worker? Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Right, right. I know. Right. He's describing again brass as burned in a furnace. Right. Right. John knows why. I don't. Do you, Peter? <laughs> you didn't think if Jesus was in drunkenness. That he was like the witch of Endor and you had to burn him, did you? 
Because you thought he rose up Moses and Elijah like she did. Warlock of Satan. Rebel without a clue. I don't know. There is a place they burnt the bodies of the animals from, called Gehenna after they were sacrificed. Right. <laughs> and it's where Peter tried to send Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> His own friend. Not Judas, who hanged himself. But the one who John saw mm -hmm. after telling him he saw paps on Jesus like a woman's. And it freaked him so out badly in a hurry that he decided before dawn between the hours of 12 and 3 to get 500 men and go against the guard, mm -hmm. roll back the stone, and burn the body in Gehenna. Didn't you, Peter? That's your sin you're trying to hide, you did to the Lord. You also, instead of paying the taxes, kept the gold coin in the fish's mouth. You caught. Right. Bet you did that too. Is that why Ananias and Sapphira fell down for not paying their tithes to the church. I see you, Cephas. I don't mean Pete. <laughs> On SNL. <laughs> no, you don't. I mean someone more sinister. <laughs> no, you do. Maybe he calls himself Pastor Davis today if he was resurrected <laughs> after the Romans crucified him upside down. Right. Like Jesus. Right. Though he is the son of Adam. He is the son of perdition. He is the ultimate sinner on the planet unless he repents. Right. See, Peter? <laughs> I know what you're hiding from the world. Call yourself Pope Peter. Right. Call yourself Colonel Peter. Right. Like Paul, we have an issue here, man, <laughs> of sin. And you fooled some of the people, some of the time, but not all the people, all of them. <laughs> And you, Peter, didn't know Adam from Eve. You, Peter, didn't understand Paul and only offered confusion. Because you wrestle with the truth of God. That God is not a man or a woman, as Paul said. Right. But like unto one. <laughs> like unto one. Both. But what did Jesus tell you when he was resurrected? Does that matter to God? When the Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego were cast into a furnace as well? Nope. Nope. Unbeliever! Cephas! Unbeliever! Peter! I rebuke you and your satanic spirit that has taken over the world after Jesus died and was resurrected whether you burnt his body or not you sick, twisted jerk that's also another reason why they can't find his body if dumbass Peter burnt it <laughs> though he can still ascend into heaven like the angel did with the burnt offering of Samson's parents, right? <laughs> you stop nothing, Peter! You bulbous puss of ass! Worse than Balaam's donkey! Liar of all liars! Sinner of all sinners! You first! 
denied your Lord three times. Then you denied him three and a half. After he died. Who can correct the evil Peter in Peter? He can't even confess his own sin. Can any man save them, Peter? Not even you. Don't die. And God have to resurrect you from the dead either, does he? That you murdered your own Lord, delivered him over to the Romans, because one man can fight a whole Roman legion in the first place. And don't tell me, Peter Cephas, that you're the real rock of my salvation. You're the sinner of the man who knew that the Lord was too good for you. I know. And still won't repent of your being too Jewish for Jesus. You're following your messed up religious males, Fido, brother, and not Phileas, which it probably includes the women. <laughs> You don't even want to agape Jesus, do you? <laughs> no. No. The only way, Peter, is if you convince some moron <laughs> that they're fulfilling the word by pushing the nuclear 